morning it's morning of day three we uh, woke up kind of clear out but where the rams are there's snow so get a cup of coffee and get some breakfast in us this morning I think we're gonna pack up camp and keep working our way down this valley and uh, get closer to where those rams are and check them out so it's cold this morning all the water on the tent was frozen so it's gonna be a good day though here comes some fog check in, in a little bit once again camp is packed up we're moving on down the river Hard to tell, but that's all snow right there. Out of their sons and fools of themselves, they're only judged by God and the fruits that they've dropped and left there to rot. All the weeds that they grew are never end. Making dollars off our fate While your hands getting stained And transaction time is all we got left So count your cards and hold your breath What a fool's state of mind But hey, it's a paycheck, it's a paycheck God only knows There's a sheep up on this mountain Kind of, they're sitting where the fog just keeps rolling over, and the fog dissipates like a hundred yards past them. But where the sheep are sitting, I got like two seconds to look at them. And now they're back in the thick of it. So eventually, it'll clear up so we can see what they are. Camp, bunch of dull sheep using lambs. How good does it look?
definitely some horn on that right side, eh? Yeah. You want to put the camera on him, Chase? Or have anyone bring an umbrella with them, Andrew? This is a first. You son of a bitch. It's the ptarmigan hunter. Always carry my puffies. Got a day's worth of food. Big camera lens. You waiting on us, Andrew? Oh, good, buddy. Or waiting on me, I should say. Morning of day four. We're gonna head back up the mountain where we saw those sheep yesterday. Hopefully get a closer look at them and hopefully it's a big old curly ram for Kevin to shoot, maybe with the bow. But, uh, a little colder last night, a little bit of a breeze blowing. Had some ice on the tent this morning, but Day four, we're ready for you. You can't tell me that's not worth the trip right there. We started up and around that that corner that way. And uh, unreal, not enough camera batteries or SD cards that you can carry to capture what we're in.
truly amazing. This very first hill from camp this morning. And Andrew's ahead of us 100 yards or better and stops and gives us the old universal ram signal. Sure enough, there's a ram right above camp here. He must have been in that cut or something. It's a pretty good pull there. Yeah, it is. You guys find them yet? No one's left over.
Stop. 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 We left camp the earliest we've ever left. We left probably nine o'clock this morning. We've been leaving about one and uh, worked our way up into the drainage we were in last night, looking for some rams we've been seeing. To get a better look at them, and we uh, Andrew found one of the rams. We went up bedded on a high point. Yeah. <clears throat> so we took off. We got up there and. It took all day, but we worked up, got up to the to the top, and uh, Giant, dude. stuff rolling everywhere. Uh, the rams had moved. It looked like a pretty good ram, so we got up in there and and uh, couldn't locate the ram we wanted a better look at, but we found the other three, and uh, nothing in there we wanted to shoot. So we kept going, got all the way to the top of this big ass mountain. And, just started covering country looking for a ram, found a little ram, and then uh, right before we left, Andrew looked back and glassed these rams up, feeding their way up towards the top, and we hauled ass over to get above them, and, and then this happened, so a bunch of snow came in, we were about 130 yards right above them, and as soon as it cleared, I uh, took a shot, and he took a fall, my first sheep. Couldn't be any more thankful. Jason, Cody, and everybody along the way. Brittany, that's about all you're going to get out of me for saying thanks, or I'll freaking start crying again. But unreal emotions coming, coming out. Couldn't be any more thankful.
Thanks for tuning in tonight, season five, Arctic Red River Outfitters doll sheep hunt. Don't wait. There's something to be said about the mountains up north. It's it's an amazing place. Riding a bush plane or a float plane out into the middle of nowhere and getting dropped off with nothing but your backpack and a and a weapon is it's a phenomenal feeling. Uh, these videos bring back all those feelings and memories, and I hope that you guys get the same from this me and chase carried a lot of camera gear and worked our butt off to bring this to you and i hope it i hope it strikes a nerve like it strikes us because it's just phenomenal it's it's something else everybody thank you with that i hope everybody will subscribe we need a lot of help with this click the bell next to the subscribe button to get notifications when the, when the next videos come out but we could just really use a lot of help getting us out there share it with your friends tell everyone about it facebook instagram whatever you do but really hope you guys enjoy season five we had a, a lot of fun last year filming it and had a lot of adventures so we can't wait to share it all with you so with that don't wait book a sheep hunt have fun subscribe and hope you guys enjoy. So we'll talk to you later.